got the Sinotype pack and we're doing painting with light. Before we start, I want to give a big thank you to Mel Science for sending these to us. So let's open this up and see what we need. Alright then, so here's the leaflet and it says on it, difficulty 2, danger 2. Ooh, really scary. Okay, duration 20 minutes. Safety, put on protective gloves and eyewear, conduct the experiment on a plastic tray. So can I have a plastic tray please? Thank you. <laughs> that was clever, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. Things just get delivered to you without even... Uh... Yeah, that materialised. This is really good to think about the thing and then it comes to me. I was like halfway through asking and then it just magically appears. <laughs> Right, now this says in here, as we will be dealing with light sensitive compounds, we need to avoid bright light such as direct sunlight or strong lamps. Ew. I think we might have a bit of a problem there, Oscar, because we've got five strong lamps pointing right at us. Yep. So what we need, might need to do is when we get into the experiment is turn off our studio lights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's actually a really horrible, miserable grey day outside, so I don't think we're going to have any problem with sunlight, are we? No. And it says you need to prepare two AA batteries. Thank you. Okay, then you need to connect the um, tiny, so we've got here a tiny little LED. Uh -huh. So connect that so obviously the black on one side and the red on the other. Okay, which side does the black go on? Doesn't matter. Oh look, when I touch it to the black one, it lights up. Yep. What we need to do is we need to make a light sensitive ammonium ion citrate. So what we need to do is cause an ion exchange reaction between ammonium ion sulfate and citric acid. Okay, so we're going to make that in our cup. And because this is light sensitive, this is the part when I'm going to have to turn the camera lights off. So, sorry Splat fans, it might get a little bit dark, but I'm going to focus on this so you can see what Oscar's making. I'm going to go and turn the lights off, Oscar, okay? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all of the things to put in. Do you think you can see properly enough to do the experiment, yeah? Yep. So, a big spoon of citric acid into the cup then. Now we need uh, acid. ammonium iron sulfate. Then we need some of this ammonium carbonate. Whoa, Ooh. do you see that fizz? Yeah. Cool. That is awesome. So now, at last, we need to mix some of the um, potassium hexacyanoferrate. Okay. Let me take those away. So we're gonna do one big spoon of this. Okay, and then we'll like super bubble. <laughs> More fizzing, and then we're just going to swirl that around a little bit. Okay. So just give it a little swirl to mix it together. You hear it fizzing? Yeah. Ooh. Everything looks really crazy in this blue light. Yeah. Okay, then we have got this piece of watercolour paper. Mm -hmm. We're going to pop that there. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these like absorbent, you can't really see it, absorbent pieces of cotton. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, use the absorbent stuff to suck up some of this. Oh look, it's all disappearing. And then we are going to draw all over. We're going to cover that piece of paper with this. So can you go up and down, make sure it's all covered, mm -hmm. apply evenly all over. This is photosensitive, so what you're going to do now is pick up the blue light and you're going to draw a picture. Okay. Cool! You did a drawing with light. Yeah. How good is that? No pen needed, just a bunch of chemicals and some light and then you can make a drawing. <laughs> now it does say on here you can wash off all the chemicals and then you can keep the picture. Awesome. Thanks for watching this awesome video guys. 
so here is our picture hope you like it it says hi and it's got a smiley face and a square <laughs> thanks for watching bye